$1,000 a month. Okay, you know what? I'm going to just sit here and eat my steak in peace. Well, anyway. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I, I, I didn't tell you guys, uh, but a few nights back, this, uh, this dog, this dog followed me home. I'm about to tear this thing up. <laughs> when, I, when I opened, uh, when I opened the door, he just... <laughs> Pedro couldn't get loud with The Lisa from Temecula sketch on SNL has become a fan favorite. Joining us now is the hilarious Ego Woda. Hey, Welcome. What's up? That was so funny. I was just telling you, too, that episode was great. Thank like Pedro, you. Pedro was incredible. He was great. He was great. That sketch was so funny. What's so funny to me, too, go, well, you got from, you went to SC, you know I the did, area. Yeah. Temecula is just down, not too far. But I, I go to Temecula all the time with the wine. It's uh -huh. so funny. Why did you pick Temecula? How did I that come about? The writers, which is so funny because uh, Alex English, who was the writer of the sketch, along with Gary Richardson and Michael Che, yeah. none of them have spent real time in California. I think Gary spent a little bit of time here, oh. but I, I don't know. We were told to give it a more memorable name than it had at the time, which is oh. birthday. That's funny. And that woman from Temecula, they decided she was from Temecula. I so don't funny. know how. I woke up on a Saturday and it was like, okay, she's from Temecula now. And I was like, okay, great. That's I'm so surprised funny. you guys know oh. what Temecula is. My <laughs> cheeks hurt in that sketch. I love when people break. Tell us about Pedro Pascal. Actually, everybody in the sketch right there, when you got up and you were getting that steak, did that happen in hey, the rehearsal show? I know people show? that be cutting their steak like that, too. I'm saying, <laughs> people, I mean, it be like that. And it was born, it's based on Alex English's uh, cousin, apparently, who at uh, dinner over the holiday got a well-done steak and was kind of shaking the table and oblivious <laughs> to it. But, uh, I mean, I, people, I could not make it through that sketch without laughing when we did it at Table Read. So that was my first time reading it in front of an audience of our our cast members and some of our crew, and I could not make it through the sketch without <laughs> laughing myself. I, I actually thought, I was like, this was so fun to do. Because I couldn't deliver all the lines, this sketch is not going to the show, but, but you know, that was fun to do. And then all week long, I was losing it. We were all losing it. And then, I mean, at dress rehearsal, there were some hiccups. So by the time we did it to air, it all felt very fresh again and and surprising to all of us that it was going well. And when and you see, well. like, Pedro yeah. break, does it make you break? I always think when you see, like, the big celebrity, you can't keep it together. Well, I, I think I, I, I didn't see Pedro because we're so playing to the cue cards, right? So I couldn't quite see that it was breaking, and I think that I was just in Lisa mode. And I was just like, this woman, this woman is oblivious to everything around her. She's blissfully ignorant. And so I don't think I was, like, aware. Oh, my God. I don't know that I was that aware he was losing it like if I think back but I do remember at the part where I say oh because we're black and Bowen laughing I didn't see him drop his fork I didn't see any of that happen but I just knew he was laughing oh, and yeah. that made me that, <laughs> ma that that made it really hard for me to keep a straight face I, will say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it uh, what do you what do you remember about um, uh, the SNL audition um, okay, we get to do five minutes. I did uh, several characters. I did Maya Angelou. I did my mother. I did a 911 dispatcher who was spreading people's business. <laughs> she would take a 911 call and then on her cell make another call that's like, let me tell you what's going on in their house. <laughs> Yes. And all, and all bits that you had, like, been working on for a while now? That no, you okay, it? honestly, like, you, you find out you're going to do the SNL audition and you showcase here on the ground in L.A. in one of the comedy theaters, and I think I found out a week before, and I was like, okay, what am I going to come up with in a week? And that was one of the the newest characters I had done, and I came up with it for the showcase. Oh, that's great. But I had worked on it in front of an audience and be like, this works, and then th this moment is a good moment. Yeah. Um, I, th I think I said I, I did my mom. I did a black woman in a quiet place because at the time a quiet place was. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. She was a little bit like Lisa, a little like yeah, yeah, yeah. a little too noisy and rowdy for the situation. Yeah. Oh, How nerve wracking is that? You hear from everybody that's just Lauren sitting there. They said he never laughs. Yeah. What was it like for you? You know, I had so much going on in my mind at the time. I had just moved out of my apartment very abruptly because there was a roach, and so I was like a single roach. Um, well, there's a dead one and then a live one. Anyway, okay, so two roaches, I guess. And, and so I had a lot going on in my head, and I didn't know if it was the right timing for me or what have you. And so I was like, I'm just going to do my characters. They're off on the side somewhere watching in the bleachers. And so I never made eye contact. I never 
could place them in the room. If I remember correctly, they're like off to the left there. But I was like, I'm just going to do Good. my thing. I'm going to do my thing. Yeah. They're going to like it. They're not. I, this is all I got for you. You yeah. know what's wild, too, uh, is like they don't ever really laugh. They'll just go, See, that's, that's funny. Uh, oh, a lot of comedians. Right? <laughs> they'll just write, they'll yeah. just go, that's, that's funny. funny. I would that's need funny. to laugh. Exactly. Yeah, I would panic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pete Davidson's going to come back yes. and host. And I always think, what is it like when an old cast member comes back? Is that extra pressure or does it take the pressure off? You know, it's kind of amazing because it feels like family coming home in a sense because like they understand what that mm -hmm. is like in that place they understand how the, the mechanics of all of it and so one the week tends to go a little faster sometimes not all the time but oftentimes it does because they sort of just know the lay of the land know what they're supposed to be doing and it's just cool to see them come back and they understand and have empathy for your experience so a lot of times like as cast we're trying to make the host feel really comfortable and feel really welcome and it's just this new territory for them mm -hmm. but when it's an alumni returning like you don't have to it's like hey welcome home you know what the deal is yeah. and in fact like it's nice to have them and their perspective in the building. It's like a little really. break for you too. Yeah. You got to try you <laughs> yeah, exactly. hold their hand the whole exactly. time. Exactly. Right there. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah. Well, check this out. We reached out to the mayor of Temecula, uh, Zach this is Shrank, great. sent you a little message. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, I'm Temecula Mayor Zach Schwank. We'd like to thank NBC Saturday Night Live and Ego Wodum for introducing the world to Lisa from Temecula. <laughs> the city of Temecula is proud to claim Lisa from Temecula as one of our own. In fact, I'd like to cordially invite Lisa from Temecula to sit at the mayor's table with me for the 2023 Temecula State of the City. We'll have salad tossed with tons of ranch dressing, and the extra, extra well-done steak is on me. To Ego Wodum and everyone at Saturday Night Live, the city of Temecula is enjoying our newest favorite resident, Lisa from oh, Temecula. Chills. You gotta take them up on that because they got great wineries yeah, down there. Yeah, you heard. I just you know, know Temecula from living here. It's wine country. It's so yes. like I knew what it was as soon as I heard it, but I was like, I didn't know that the writers said that is unreal. Let them hook you what? up. I go, you gotta do that. <laughs> and send us the video. I'm going. That's I'm great. Going. That's great. Uh, nice to meet you. Congrats nice on everything. You. We were so excited to interview you. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday Night Live returns May 6th on NBC and of course streaming right now on Peacock. All right, coming up.